Hello everyone and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for this Libra Full Moon Pick a Card Tarot Reading. So the full moon will occur on Wednesday, April 5th at 9.34 p.m. Pacific Time. That'll be the West Coast in the United States. And then it'll occur on Thursday, April 6th at 12.34 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that'll be the East Coast of the United States. So please adjust to your time zone on the planet. So full moons are a great time for illumination, manifestation, and conclusions, finishing things up. And with it in Libra, Libra represents partnerships, relationships, so this full moon can be illuminating something about your partnership or relationship. I also want to mention that it's going to be opposing Chiron and Aries. And Chiron is the wounded warrior. And in Aries, he's been helping us to become more self-aware of our own health and well-being and taking care of ourselves. So this full moon can be illuminating something to do with your health and well-being. So we have three piles to choose from. This is pile one with the azurite. This is pile two with the pink rose quartz heart. And this is pile three with the Herkimer diamond. So take your time in choosing your pile. You might be drawn to more than one pile and that's perfectly all right. That's your intuition letting you know that there's a message for you in that pile as well. I'll begin with pile one. There'll be timestamps down below for the other readings and I'll meet you over at your reading. Hello, Pile One. If you chose the Azurite Crystal, welcome to your reading. So first, we're going to get you a Moonology Manifestation card to see what is manifesting in your life. And keep in mind, these are general tarot readings, so please only go with the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. And for you, we have the last quarter moon in Aquarius. Reflect on your priorities. Okay, I think that this full moon in Libra is a great time to reflect on your priorities. And uh, is there anything that you need to finish up or get a conclusion to. Now let's look at your two oracle cards here. Here we have Blossom. Okay, perhaps it's time for you to start doing some gardening, clearing out your garden bed. So uh, perhaps some of your flowers like crocuses are beginning to bloom and sometimes your little tulips, the early blooming tulips are starting to poke up out of the ground as well as the hyacinths. So uh, reflecting on your priorities, this could be clearing out those areas so some area of your life can blossom. And next we have centered. I like this because it has the full spectrum of the moon phases and this gives you an opportunity perhaps uh, working with the moon phase getting yourself centered and getting ready for something to blossom in your life and preparing for whatever that is going to be in your life that could be something to do with work something in your personal life. This could even be uh, bringing a baby into your life. Now let's get you a 
couple of these cards. have the earth moon magic fertility okay to me that's kind of a a confirmation that something and possibly a baby is going to be blossoming into your life and again this could just you it's time for you to take care of your gardens get it prepared and then we have full moon with magnification and centered and that's exactly what the full moon does is that it magnifies whatever you are feeling and then at the bottom of the deck we have witch's moon magic and mystery so i feel like there's some magic coming into your life pile one uh, and some abundance here with the fertility something is going to be growing in your life and it'll reach blossoming and I feel like that you are preparing to reflect on your priorities. And a great way to prepare for that is to get yourself centered. And the need to do that is going to be magnified with this full moon. And it'll give you a great time to reflect upon your priorities. And this very well could have something to do with that Chiron opposing this full moon in Aries because the full moon is going to be illuminating that for all of us. So this could also be a call for you to uh, take care of some health issues or to begin a new health routine, improving on your health routine. So let's go deeper into this with the tarot. I am using the Moon Garden Tarot. And we begin with the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, this is something that you've been dreaming about, something that you've been putting some effort, some time and effort, and you've really been contemplating about this earth moon magic trying to manifest something from the, your dreams into your reality next we have the nine of swords and you feel like that this is causing you some anxiety for some reason perhaps it's not occurring fast enough for you with this blossom card but just know that things do take time and here we have the Queen of Cups. And I think that's a beautiful card here with reflecting on your priorities. And only you know what they are. Because this is also having to do with the mysteries and dreams. And here we have the Five of Cups. There is some grieving. So perhaps there's something in your life that hasn't been going quite the way that you were hoping that it would go. And it's caused you this anxiety and grief or maybe the grief is causing you this anxiety and it's just kind of leaving you a little melancholy here with the queen of cups then we have the three of pentacles okay i like this card beneath the full moon because to me it does represent the maiden mother crown though the three of pentacles has something to do with receiving something threefold. This could be a contract, a raise, a promotion, recognition for your work, something that you've been dreaming on and contemplating, and it's been causing you some anxiety, some sleepless nights, uh, wondering if this is going to happen, and just when you think that it's not going to, something else comes in. And it could be something much better. Next, we have the star. Your wishes are going to come true. And the star is also ruled by Aquarius. And we have this last quarter moon in Aquarius reflecting on your priorities 
and knowing that it's going to work out for you. And I think it's going to work out better than you thought it would. Here we have the Five of Pentacles beneath the Nine of Swords. Okay, some of you might be feeling a little bit broke, rejected, abandoned, um, just kind of feeling a little bit stuck in that feeling of anxiety, of something not working out the way that you thought it would. But I see something better coming your way, Pile One. Here we have the Hermit shining his light into the darkness and attracting that which is for his own highest good. And it's here below the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups only lets you know what she wants you to know. So I feel like that there's information that you're not aware of. But the Hermit is going to do some deeper investigating and checking out those details. Next we have the King of Staffs. This is ruled by Aries and it's beneath the Five of Cups here. And I feel like that you're not going to be stuck very long here in this sadness. I feel like that you're going to take that energy and transform it into some creativity. And then we have the world recognition with that three of pentacles there. That is really nice that you're going to uh, make a showing in the world. And as I said, I really do think there's, you might miss out on one opportunity, but I feel like a better opportunity is coming your way. So don't let a disappointment turn into a panic and make you worry and sad and grieving. And for some of you, this could be the loss of a job, but were you really happy with that job? because I do see you grieving about something here. But with this earth, moon, magic, and fertility, this would be an excellent time for you to do a manifestation spell for whatever it is that you wish to manifest in your life. Let's get you a couple tree soul cards. Okay, Spirit really wants you to have this one here. Illumination. Something is going to be illuminated for you, Pile One. And I think it's going to be that new opportunity. I feel like this one wants to be yours. Look, perception. It's all in your perception. How do you want to perceive this? If you don't like the way that you see something, shift your perspective. Maybe something better will shift into your view. Now, let's get you a magical spell card here. Fourteen with friendship. Bring to me friendship true. Sharing laughter, understanding too. Okay, maybe a friend let you down or because Libra Moon does have something to do with friendships. Perhaps you have a friend that's moving or is leaving. And... Uh, Let's get you some moon magic cards here. Or perhaps I feel like a new friendship is blossoming here actually for you, Pile One. And it could be an earth sign, it could be an Aquarius. Okay, here's your artwork and we have the waning crescent gratefully I surrender my struggle 
yes, I feel like that you have this struggle going on here. And here's your artwork for your next card. And we have the first quarter moon. I am honest with myself and others. And that's that illumination. Now, because Libra has to do with love and relationships, I do want to get you a true love card here. For those of you who are seeking love, and we have 12 with the Divine Masculine. Okay, this is about honoring the Divine Masculine energy. I know that the moon is feminine energy, but there is we have both masculine and feminine energies in each and every one of us. And I feel like that this is bringing you in some protection some support some guidance and let's get you a lover's oracle card because this can be a lover's full moon it is in libra Okay, here is your artwork and it says imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life I think this is a wonderful conclusion card to sum up your whole reading so I'm going to end your reading here pile one I hope that you enjoyed this reading let me know what you thought in the comments below if you want. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, take care of my friends. Hello, Pile 2. If you chose the Pink Rose Quartz Heart, welcome to your reading. We're first going to look at your manifestation moon card and we have for you the new moon in libra instead of the full moon in libra which this reading is for and to know that you are loved and i do feel like that this is a beautiful card for the full moon in libra so that you are reminded that you are loved <clears throat> okay let's get you a couple of Moon Magic Cards. And we have for you the first quarter moon, Attraction Magic. Okay, some of you could be attracting some love in your life. And then we have the moon farming with cultivation. So you could be attracting perhaps a new home, cultivating a new home, and knowing that you are loved. This can certainly be moving in with someone that uh, you're already in a relationship with or attracting the right partner someone who has the same interest as you in cultivating this relationship, letting each other know how loved you are. Okay, let's get you a couple more from the uh, Earthly Souls and Spirit Moon Oracle. And we have Evolve. Okay. Perhaps some of you, your relationship has evolved 
into something greater. And with this attraction magic, this most certainly can be anything that you are trying to attract into your life, whether it's attracting a new job, a new home, um, evolving, rising to another level. And here we have unity. Okay, with this cultivation, cultivating a family, cultivating your circle of friends, knowing you are loved. And I love this full moon here and how all the witches are dancing in the full moonlight. And they're there for each other. They are like-minded beings who are supporting each other. And there is this attraction, perhaps it's you attracting a circle of friends where you know that you are loved and people have your back. Okay, let's go deeper into this reading with the tarot. I'm using the Moon Garden Tarot. And we have, look at this, the Wheel of Fortune. It is evolving and shifting, bringing that which you desire into your life. Look at this, the lovers. Okay, some of you might be attracting a lover into your life, a new love, a relationship. And it could be somebody that you meet in your circle of friends. Then we have the hanged man. Uh, I feel like that you're wondering if this person likes you as much as you like them or vice versa. And I kind of feel like that you both feel the same about each other. You're just being a little shy. And here we have the nine of cups of contentment, fulfillment, satisfaction, And then we have the Ten of Swords, and it could be that one of you have ended a relationship, or perhaps both of you have just recently ended a previous relationship, and you are drawn to each other. There's this new change. Here we have the Magician, Magic, whatever you desire. The Magician is all about manifesting that which he desires and we have the first quarter moon which occurs right after the new moon and this full moon because she is holding this full moon in her hand and that is the full manifestation i mean we have a full moon here we have a full moon here and we have a full moon there as well as with the Nine of Cups and even with the Hanged Man, there's this full moon. So I feel like that your magic is really going to be magnified and powerful, especially for any kind of love magic that you're asking for the right kind of person. You're attracting the right kind of person into your life where you both want to cultivate a deeper relationship. Here we have the King of Cups. This is a Cancer type personality. And this is also, uh, he's the King of Cups. This is love. And then we have the Ace of Staffs, a new beginning. So this could be a new relationship that is evolving. And then we have the Empress, uh, fertility, abundance, love, and also cultivation and nurturing. And that is, and you're very happy here. Uh, to me, I see someone who's who really enjoys working in the garden, cultivating and taking care of what you have going on in your garden. It brings you much pleasure. And then we have the Six of Staves, 
with victory, overcoming whatever has ended here with the Ten of Swords. That's just you shedding an old skin. Okay, let's get you some Moon Magic cards here. Here is your artwork, and it says the eclipse, and we are coming into eclipse season. I know myself deeply and find myself worthy. Yeah, I like that. Here's the artwork for your next card. We got the full moon in that card, and this is the full moon. I have power. It is real. I love it. We have this attraction magic, and we have the magician and the king of cups. So I feel like that you are attracting beautiful, lovely things into your life and perhaps a new love. Now, this isn't to say that you're casting a love spell on a particular person. It is best to cast your love spells for the qualities that you are looking for in a person and allow the person, the right person, to show up in your life because you must allow other people to have uh, their free will. And we have the lovers, so I feel like that there's some love magic happening here for some of you in my pile too. Let's get you a magical spell card. We have trust. I am safe. I am secure. In love, I trust. My faith endures with number 31. And I really feel like it goes nicely with this moon farming and cultivation. Trust in the seasons of the moon when it comes to planting. Consult the Farmer's Almanac for the right time for planting certain plants that you want to plant in your garden. Okay, and for those of you who are looking for love, let's get you a true love card. Because Libra is all about partnerships and love. Okay, here we have number 28 with self-respect. Okay, maybe you felt like that you weren't respected in uh, past relationships and you have evolved and now you are trying to attract a partner where you do have respect for each other and self-respect for yourself. And I feel like that this could have something to do with Chiron in Aries that's opposing this full moon in Libra and taking care of yourself, your health and well-being. And most of all, um, respecting yourself, not letting other people take advantage of you, walking all over you. And perhaps that's been a challenge for you in the past and you have evolved something in you has changed and when you have changed that means sometimes you lose some friends they drop off they you shed them because they can no longer uh, manipulate you the way that they used to be able to because now you're putting up safe boundaries Okay, here is your artwork and we have let there be closeness between you but always give each other space love never claims it simply allows and gives okay I do feel like that this is a perfect conclusion card for your whole reading especially for those of you who are 
opening your hearts up for love to flow into your life and this could be a new relationship and because your attraction magic is done out of self-respect you're going to attract those like-minded others who also have respect for themselves and when you respect yourself you're going to recognize that in other people and there's just a natural sense of respecting one another okay i'm gonna end your reading here pile two i hope that you enjoyed it and that it was helpful let me know what you think in the comments below if you'd want and thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel i appreciate each and every one of you and until next time take care my friends hello pile three if you chose the herkimer diamond welcome to your reading we're first going to draw you a moonology manifestation card for this Libra full moon. And we have for you the last quarter moon in Gemini. Clear your mind. So I feel like that this full moon is going to illuminate what needs to be clarified in your mind. Now let's look at your two oracle cards here. We have a joyous and we have adventure. Okay, so perhaps a great way to clear your mind is to go on a joyous adventure. Now, Gemini is ruled by Mercury, and that is the messenger, and so there is this traveling, this adventure, so this could have you going on a little trip, on a little journey, and you're going to have a great deal of fun. It's going to allow you to step back from what's troubling your mind, what's ruminating in your mind and you get a little break from that and you get this joyous adventure and then you can come back and it really does help to clear your mind when you step away from that situation now let's get you a witch's moon and magic a couple cards from this deck Okay, Spirit wants you to have this one. Moon Essence with Imbuements. Okay, this is you going out under that full moon and soaking up those moon rays. Getting empowered. This can also be taking your crystals out. Maybe you're going to take a little adventure. Take your crystals and other things that you want to be empowered by the moon and look we have snow moon with purification and a white owl is right there so owls and we also have a kitty cat and we also have a fox these can be animal guides for you uh, so if you see one it's getting your attention for something and you could be taking a moon bath to imbue that full moon energy but also to purify yourself cleansing yourself in the light of the full moon let's go deeper into this reading with some tarot so i feel like that for my pile three that Chiron opposing this full moon in Aries because the full moon is in Libra and Chiron is in Aries and they are opposing signs. I feel like that this could be a healing for you. And something that is going to bring joy into your life 
and clear your mind. Because I think that you need to just step away from something for a little while and then come back to it. Okay, Spirit wants you to have these cards. So we have the King of Staffs, which is ruled by Aries, where Chiron happens to be. And we have the Page of Staffs, who happens to be the adventurer. So I do feel like that you guys are going on an adventure. Okay, Spirit is dropping this card out, the Eight of Staffs. This is um, energy coming to you, messages, communications. Gemini is ruled by Mercury, which is about communication. Gemini is an air sign. It's about communication. These can also be opportunities coming your way. And then we have the Knight of Staffs being at the right place at the right time on your adventure. Something magical is going to happen. And it's going to happen quickly. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, even faster. Because the Knight of Swords is clearing out all obstacles that stand in your way. And we have two knights here, one right after the other, being at the right place at the right time and your path being cleared. The knights are instigators of change and something is going to change on this adventure. And it could be because the veil is lifting, the fog is clearing out of your mind. And here we have the Three of Cups, some celebration with some friends. So you might be going on this journey with a few friends. The Ten of Pentacles. This is very beautiful. This could be blending uh, work with business with the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, this could also have something to do with uh, inheritance. Uh, and inheritance can be those traits that you inherit in your bloodline, in your personality. Uh, this can certainly be a financial windfall coming your way. There is security and legacy here. Then we have the Five of Cups. There is some grief here. There And perhaps that's what's clouding up your mind and what needs to be cleared away here below the Eight of Staffs. You know, you need to get rid of those negative energies, that sadness, that depression. And it just could be, you know, the winter blues that have been lingering with you. And you just need to go out on a little adventure and see those little signs of spring. And really soak up that magical energy from the full moon. And here we have the devil with the knight of staffs and the not the devil is it's not evil the devil is bringing to our awareness that which makes us feel trapped this can be our way of thinking this can be a bad habit or just attracting the wrong kind of people and this could also be the universe testing you uh bringing that uh, triggering a negative situation that you've experienced before to see if you have learned and evolved and have moved past that. And if not, it's going to bring that to your attention so that you can clear that out of your mind. And then we have the High Priestess. I love it. You have the knowledge to do so. You have what it takes, the intuition to see through this situation. This could also be a negative person that you run into on your adventure or just somebody who's not a good road companion because you really do get to know people when you travel with them. And some people are fun to go on adventures with and other people just are not. I've experienced both because adventures are going to have a challenge. 
You want to be with people who can, you know, deal with unexpected challenges. It's part of the adventure. And to have a joyous sense of humor about it when the unexpected happens. And this can certainly be a shift into your perspective, like, okay, I see this, you know, negative personality. And this certainly could be you catching yourself, you know, falling into your own uh, doubts. And the high priestess is like, no, 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 everything's going to work out just fine. This is a purification here. We do have this purification. And I feel like that this joyous adventure is going to help you see this energy. Because, again, the devil isn't evil. It's just a negative behavioral pattern. It's the shadow aspect. It's something that might not... Uh, be fully understood. Now the high priestess has deeper understanding and with the knight of swords above her, she's going to clear up any kind of disputes or disagreements or just uh, clearing out the negativity in that situation with the five of cups and the devil. And you're going to be able to release that and move on. It's not as bad as you think. Okay, let's get you some moon magic cards. Okay, here is the artwork for your first card. And we have the moon goddess Artemis. I am connected to the earth and all life around me. I love it. That to me is like the high priestess. And here's your artwork for your next card. And we have the waxing crescent. I choose to nourish myself and enrich my life. I love that because it's here with the three of cups and the ten of pentacles. Where you are nourishing yourself with the three of cups. And you are enriching your life with the ten of pentacles. Okay, let's get you a magical spell card. And we have safe travel. <laughs> okay. Great confirmation for you with the master number 22. Keep me safe and let me roam. Far away, but bring me home. I love it. So I feel like my pile threes, you are going on some kind of adventure. It can be long or short. Doesn't matter. It's, it's traveling. We also have these two nights that also denote travel. Okay, let's get you a true love card as this is a Libra full moon. And Libra is all about partnerships and relationships. Okay, we have number 27, the sacred woman. Okay, this is the divine feminine energy. And I feel like, you know, because the moon is feminine and we have the moon essence, imbuement. We have the snow moon purification. I really do feel like that this is a great time to also work with that Chiron and Aries energy with that full moon and do a full moon purification bath and clearing out and purifying yourself. Bring some crystals and candles and uh, make it a lovely time for yourself. Use some aromatherapy that's going to be purifying and 
or it could just be straight up sea salt, Epsom salt, a blend. Okay, and then the, from the Lover's Oracle deck, here is your artwork. And we have Twin Flames, Your Passion Ignites. Okay. It could be that you're going to meet your twin flame on your adventure. It could be that you're going on an adventure with your twin flame. And uh, twin flames are just uh, soulmates and they're part of your soul group and they you just really sync up mind body and soul so i'm going to end your reading here pile three i hope that you enjoyed this reading uh, let me know what you think in the comments if you want thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel i appreciate each and every one of you and until next time take care my friends